Hi, I'm Diane, and it's my joy to be sharing hypnosis with you. Meet and Connect with Your Higher Self Through Hypnosis is a four-part class series. Did you know that there are many ways to connect with your higher self or your intuition? You can tap into this higher wisdom using techniques such as meditation, yoga. There are even exercises that you can do to strengthen your intuition. You can use energy work, even using tools such as a pendulum or divination or oracle cards. Also lucid dreaming, journaling, even connecting with nature. There are just so many ways. And yes, we do get to add hypnosis to this list. The first class will be an introduction to hypnosis and how it can help you to really connect with your higher self. The hypnosis that we do in this first class will truly be foundational for the other classes. And I'll just give you a little hint. Part of the hypnosis that we do will include powerful higher self affirmations. So I would recommend registering for the whole series. In order to clear a pathway for an even deeper and meaningful connection with your higher self, it is important for us to first do a little work. Class two will focus on healing trauma and class three will center around minimizing or setting your ego off to the side. This leads us right up to class four where you begin to make that connection with your higher self. You'll also learn how to discern whether you're speaking with your higher self or if it's your ego sneaking in. All four classes have discussion as well as guided hypnosis with each class building upon the next. I'll also have worksheets emailed to you prior to class. I am really excited about teaching this class and I look forward to seeing you there. Hello everybody and welcome to the third class of manifesting our world through visual means. And this time we will start to use our books that we have created or the books that are in process of getting created. And this is something I've been meditating about this quite a great deal lately. And I've been getting the messages that, you know, it is quite a big project to take upon. I mean, 10 pages per country. So I was told to give you the message that you don't have to do everything at once. Just do a little bit every day. And every day when you visit, when you visit your book, your treasure map, every day you activate the energy. Every, every day you re-engage with the energies that will create your futures. And um, tomorrow we will, um, we will separate the 10 pages to each country of your choice. And we will take the first two leaves and um, create a map of our country. This is my book. It's still in the process of getting done. I've, I've glued some covers. And if you want to glue these paper covers, this is just packing paper. Glue just the very top and then the other one, but do not glue the spine. You can if you want to, because this is not a big book. I mean, not a thick book, but it'll make the opening that much easier when you don't have any glue on your spine, like so you can see. I have so many tips and tricks when it comes to filling out your book, and I can't wait to show them to you and tell about them to you. To tell you the truth, I'm really excited about this and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care. So much love and light. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Jen and I am a wife and a mother of two boys and we live in the beautiful Perth Hills of Western Australia. And you can tell from the accent, I'm not actually Australian. I was born and raised in Scotland, but Australia very much has my heart now. So I am currently in the process of starting my own business called Crystal Heart and I will be offering services as a crystal healing therapist and also tarot reader. So it's the knowledge of these two areas that I hope to bring to Endeavour World Project. Um, I plan on doing two separate classes 
So one called crystal intuition and the other called tarot intuition. So when I was studying both of these topics, I found there was a wealth of knowledge on what crystals are, where you can find them, their healing properties, or you can just do a Google search to find out what the two of wands means or the queen of pentacles. And it's as easy as that. But what I found was lacking was how to really connect with these tools, how to build an energetic relationship with them so that you are getting the best out of them, but they're also bringing the best out of you. Um, so if this seems like it would be of interest to you, I would love to see you in one or both of my classes. Thanks for listening. Hello. Welcome to my next cooking class. I think now is the time to address the bread. We've done the sweet and the savory. We've done the butter, yogurt, cheese. There's still different kinds of cheese to make, but I was thinking because the way I make our bread is without yeast. And there are different tricks of a trade when you when you cook and bake without barley, oats, rye, wheat. So um, you have to use different kinds of ingredients and you can't really knead the dough because if you knead the dough without gluten in it, you, you will end up with something that's lethally hard and not even almost suitable for human consumption. <laughs> So there are different tricks to go about it. And I like to make our bread in a way that, you know, it's almost like a dish in itself because I I add a lot of vegetables and often I put some potatoes in it and beans, different things and a lot of seeds and, you know, to make it healthy and, and make it really satisfying so you feel like you don't just eat something that's fluffed up with yeast that will continue its happy life in your intestines but you know something that is nutrition you know nutritionally dense and but delicious as well so um i was thinking we'll make some rolls and some salty crackers and you know bready kinds of things because I, I don't think you know life without bread would be wonderful I mean that's a perfect companion for a beautiful creamy soup and any kind of a soup really and just just in and of itself and it can be delicious just as it is you don't necessarily have to have anything on it but while we're at the subject why not make our own hummus without the use of sesame seeds we can get the nutty flavor from roasting the uh, sunflower seeds to the hummus to the tahini to make the hummus because that is delicious with bread so uh, i hope i'll see you this friday and i hope We'll get some baking done together. Take care and thank you. Bye-bye.